tell them what's going on. Plans here got an idea to breed some ball pythons. I have no experience <laughs> with pythons. I only have experience with rats. I'm not feeding them. <laughs> we have a deal. I will clean and love and care, but I would not feed. I do love reptiles. I, love, I like all the creatures, so I understand they have to eat. So I'm excited to pet some stinkies. When he got an idea, I was like, that's cool, but where are we going to store them? Which is why we've decided after so much research to go with um, tubs. So, and we're right snakes, now... Snakes, snakes, that's all he's talking about. We just got engaged. Just there you go. <laughs> so we're here and the whole trip was supposed to be about meeting her family for the first time, which we did. But uh, exploring up... the city <laughs> and, you know, getting down on one knee, but I've been staring at this f***ing screen. I wanna get back on my computer and re-edit the layout or like what they call projects in the ball python community, which is just um, taking a target snake and then buying the ingredients pretty much for the co-dominant recessive traits that it takes to, to make it, kind of like baking a cake. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we enjoy it. Which is why we're kind of making this YouTube channel is because I feel like we're probably gonna need a lot of help. Um, Most likely, we don't know what snakes to buy. But how, what I snakes mean, do you buy on, on a budget? You wanna buy the most expensive, coolest snakes, but that's not realistic. So we're trying to make those cool ass snakes. A few, maybe five snakes we're looking at is a... Uh, for sure, we're gonna do a dream sickle project. And we're Sickle. starting with um, heterozygous animals. Yeah, and I want dream sickle because it sounds like a dream on popsicle and piebald because it sounds like and a they, pie. They look, they look really <laughs> nice. On top of that, so that's just one project. So we have three snakes that are lined up for that. That's kind of our biggest one, I would say, which is uh, two females and a male. They're kind of a project split in two. Is, um, this is where the, the money comes in is that we're gonna try to do a Pompeii. And it's a red stripe, yellow belly, black pastel, spot nose, clown. So we wanna buy those ingredients, but I also wanna make a Batman, which would be a leopard spot nose clown. So that would give us three projects, six snakes, two males, four females. They're really pretty babies. And it gives us a lot of room to grow because now, just in this collection alone, we'll have yellow belly, uh, we'll have red stripe, black pastel spot nose, leopard, lavender albino recessive, clown recessive, and piebald recessive. The only thing that I would really want to have in my collection based on my research would be maybe some heads for desert ghosts. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to figure out what exact snake combinations are best for beginner breeders. So if you guys have any suggestions on what co-dominant or recessive mutations we should start with, um, we could use some guidance. This is our very rough take in the first video. We plan on making a lot more and I have a, you know, I've written down all the math and everything for this it's three year project before we hit our first um, breeding season. If you guys are interested in getting to know more about us or our projects or seeing our snakes that we're gonna get and right. meet them and help us name them because we have no idea yet. Right, make sure to uh, subscribe and like the video and push the bell notification so that you know the next time we upload. That was pretty good. Oh, you got you got better. Yeah. You got better.